to my channel so today I thought I would film my top drugstore affordable makeup products for you guys so many people want to see some more affordable stuff on my channel because I am a bit of a high-end whore <laughs> so if you guys want to see what my top high-end products are and what products I would recommend please keep watching okay guys so I've got a little tray of products here with me this is me just literally thinking what is my top products from a drugstore I'm not kind of picking out any random products I'm like oh yeah that's a drugstore product I'll just chuck it in these are products I actually use all the time and I actually really really love them I don't have products from every single category unfortunately I'm still trying to find like good eyeshadows from a drugstore so if you guys got any recommendations put them down below okay guys so I'm gonna start talking about this primer from L'Oreal and I actually don't have the product with me because I gave it away to my sister and I can't bother to go into her room and wipe my around for it but it is a L'Oreal tub primer and it's literally like a dupe for this product here from Tarte and it's called the clean slate timeless smoothing primer so if I open it up it literally is like this kind of like silicone base I actually bought this because makeup Shayla recommended this primer on her snapchat so I ended up buying this so when I actually got this product I was like using it, I was like this is literally the exact same product as that L'Oreal thing but because I had this already I thought let me just give my sister the L'Oreal one so it's literally like a dupe it's really nice if you've got pores fine lines and stuff like that it's not the best both of this one and the L'Oreal was not that amazing for oily skin but if you have problems with pores and you want to smooth out your skin definitely the L'Oreal one is really really nice it's literally so cheap compared to this one so I'm going to move on to foundation I've got three here that I would highly recommend this is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation this is actually really good for anyone with like normal to oily skin when it says like matte and poreless it's not even like super super matte like a powdery finish so it's still really nice even if you've got like a few dry patches and stuff it doesn't make it look too cakey but I love the colour of this because it's actually really yellow and it's actually really hard to find a yellow based foundation in the drugstore so I really love the Fit Me Poreless I'm in the shade 250 this is a little bit dark for me I also like 220 as well but I really like this foundation I use this whenever I need to like go out quickly I wouldn't say it's a very long wearing foundation to be honest if you want a long wearing foundation the Revlon colour stay is really really nice but I found that I couldn't find a yellow undertone in that foundation i also really love from l'oreal the true match super blendable foundation this is the us packaging in the uk we have a pump i don't know why they have different packagings for different countries like bitch now i'm in the shade w6 sun beige and this is like a really nice color match i like the fact that with the L'Oreal range they have a quite a wide spectrum of colours I find that's what really annoys me with drugstore stuff because they don't accommodate for everybody it's mainly catered for white people I'm not gonna lie you know so they miss out a lot of opportunities for like even people with my skin tone with like a yellow undertone a lot of the drugstore stuff have such pink undertones like who the fuck is that pink bitch but all my chocolate sisters they have a really nice range for deeper skin gals they also have like a medium like a neutral range a warm range and then like a rosy range or pink range i don't know but uh, the w means warm that means it's a bit more yellow but i think w6 you can't get in the uk i had to get this from america so i think w4 is a shade that i used to use in the uk but w6 is a little bit deeper i think i would recommend this more for like normal to dry skin and you can wear this if you've got oily skin but you're gonna have to block throughout the day next up the foundation i absolutely love so much if you love full coverage actually you can wear this even if you want a sheer coverage just use less drop but this is from nyx in the uk we have nyx in boots so I do class Nyx as drugstore. Is it a drugstore, would you guys say? Like, I think it's a drugstore, right? When this came out, I thought it was so overhyped because so many people have been using it and so many people use it on, like, Instagram videos and stuff like that. But it's actually so good, guys. Literally, this is the foundation I carry when I'm going on holiday. It's so lightweight in the skin, but it gives such full coverage. And I'm such a full coverage gal. I'll actually use this as a foundation topper for other foundations. So I'll mix it on top of another foundation when the skin's too dry or it doesn't have enough coverage. I'll put a couple drops of this on top. The shade that I'm in is in shade 11 that's like a good match for me when I'm a bit more tanned I'm a shade about 15 so this is a shade 8 and I actually really like this under the eyes I've got it on today so it really brightens up under the eyes but the total control cover drops are really nice and they have such a huge range from like really light I think they even have like a white one and like a really deep one as well which is so amazing for NYX I love NYX so much I've got quite a lot of their products in this video so NYX you're winning you're winning baby you're winning if you guys don't know i am the face of the london palette i'm representing london across the world going worldwide baby worldwide hey. 
Hey. Okay, the next part I'm going to talk about is from Rimmel and it's called the Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. It's actually really hard to find a good translucent powder. I really love this one, guys. I use it all the time when I quickly need to blot. I only need to blot right now, babe. And it instantly mattifies without looking cakey. And what I like about it is it doesn't leave too much of a white cast. I find with some of the powders on the drugstore, they're really powdery and they almost leave like a creamy kind of colour to your skin. Whereas this one literally just mattifies. Super lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy heavy at all and it's really soft as well so it has the right amount of color payoff but it's literally like super like no color so love that product really nice and slim for your handbag as well so yes Rimmel you did a good job on that one okay next one I want to talk about is concealers and I really love this one like, this is probably my fifth one that I've been through this is from Maybelline it's called the instant age rewind concealer they used to have the foundation in the UK but I haven't seen the foundation before I want to try the foundation because I actually love this the only bad thing in the UK we literally have two colors two colors Maybelline why why do we have two colors I don't know there's more people in the world not just freaking light and me do you know what I mean? Apparently, I did hear they're going to be expanding the range. I think in the US, you guys have five colours in them. But I went to the US and all the colours are so pink. Like, I was so excited to see all different colours and everything was so pink. I was like, what the hell? This one is in the shade light. So I literally dot it under my eyes and it's so freaking flawless it's so smooth and i love the fact you can literally twist it so you get every single last drop of it so it's so satisfying you know when you chuck it away you're like oh, at least i use everything it is quite expensive for the drugstore though it's like 10 pounds i think a lot of time maybelline's on three for two so i really love this from maybelline i'd highly recommend it guys if you can get away with like the color and stuff like that under the eyes it's just so flawless i love it so much and hopefully maybelline will be bringing out more colors of this please if anyone's watching from maybelline please i also really love the nyx hd concealer this is so similar to the urban decay um what's it called the bitch what are you called the weightless complete coverage concealer it's literally like a dupe of it it's so nice so smooth i use the shade what shade do I, I use the shade 06 and underneath your eyes it literally just brightens it up and also it has a little bit of a pink undertone i don't mind if i underneath the eyes because it helps counteract with like dark circles and we're just going to ignore coco ignore him okay i'm going to talk over him also i really love the nip and fab concealer i think this is exclusive to super drug in the uk but nip and fab is like a skincare brand but they also recently i think this year they branched out into makeup so i really love the concealer of this especially in this shade i think it's called 30 but it's like a dark shade but i love the color for contouring my face it has like a brush applicator but this color is super nice when you blend it out it looks really sun-kissed it doesn't look too red it just has the perfect kind of like golden kind of undertone without looking too ashy or too gray on your skin because sometimes i find for contouring you want something that's gray but not too gray where it looks really like ashy like you literally just put charcoal on your face this color is really nice obviously they do lighter shades as well but the shade 30 for contouring like cream contouring this is amazing i love it and it blends out so well as well okay i'm gonna quickly talk about blushes i love these milani blushes i bought luminoso because of nikki tutorials who else owns luminoso but apparently they changed the color now because this color is really nice and peachy i can only wear this when i'm really pale like in the winter time because otherwise it just will not show up whatsoever but i actually don't like a lot of blush on my cheek and um, i just like, like a light flush on my cheek but this color is really nice as well it's called bella bellini and it's like a pinky kind of rosy goldy kind of color super super nice and on my deeper skin gals the gold shows up so beautiful so love those two next part i'm going to talk about is from barry m i don't know if you can buy barry m like worldwide but it's a really really nice product they only just brought it out recently and it's called the liquid chrome um, i love this shade here beam me up they also have one that's slightly darker than this and it's a bit more golden but i literally can't find it i don't know where the hell it's gone but it's super nice if anyone wants to start trying out those like, iconic drops or cover effects custom cover drops these are like a really good alternative from the drugstore you can mix into your foundation you can put on before your foundation if you want like a really nice like sheer glow i love this on the body as well like if i put this on my legs in with my cream mix into it super super reflective like so nice the only thing about this is that you have to really make sure you blend it out quick because it does dry to quite a quick powdery finish it doesn't stay creamy but you can see on the hand it gives a really nice sheen this color is nice but it's a bit silvery the one a bit darker i forgot what the freaking color called but it's a little bit darker than this but still golden undertone that one's really really nice i like that one okay so next i'm going to talk about eyes and then we'll move on to lips to finish it off so these are new from nyx and i freaking love them so much they don't come in that many shades 
shows. There's only a few shades of them, but they're so good. They're called the Lid Laundry Matte Liquid Base. So basically, this is like an eyeshadow base, but it's in like a liquid form. So it looks like a liquid lipstick. It looks like they're lip lingeries, but this is called Lid 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 lingeries you see you see what they did there you see that i love this shade it's in white so if you're ever wearing like a pastel pop of color or if you want to wear yellow eyeshadow yellow eyeshadow is so hard to get like really really vibrant you use like a white eyeshadow base like this and it's super creamy you can blend it out super super well it also comes in like quite a few shades i love the green ones i used for one of my last tutorials and this color is so pretty look at this imagine this all over your eyes if you just want like a quick eyeshadow look so this color is called checkmate and literally on your eyes it's it's so pretty guys it's like a really warm chocolatey brown Ooh, so pretty and what I like about it, it doesn't dry too quick where it's too powdery the formula is really nice when you blend it out it's so pretty it has like a soft kind of color on your eyes so when you put an eyeshadow on top of it it just grips onto everything really well it doesn't crease it makes your eyeshadow last longer and also intensify the color that you put on top so love these from NYX I discovered those recently drop one also from isla i've been loving this product and this is in collaboration with fleur de force and she brought out like a whole eyebrow range and i love this pencil guys because it has a bit of everything it has one side that's a bit lighter and then one side that's a bit darker so this is in the dark color but i love the fact the pencil so small that itty bitty little titty committee is so cute and it's super like fine so you can really like tailor make your eyebrow and draw little strokes in and i love the fact that it says lighter and then darker on one side so you don't have to guess it literally say light and darker the lighter one you want to use at the front to help with the fade kind of bit and then the dark one you do at the back to help define your eyebrow and i love the fact it's so small so slim it reminds me of anastasia beverly hills brow wiz so with eyeliners i've got three different ones that i'd recommend this infallible one is so good i love the black one i can't find the black one anywhere because i have like ten thousand pencils but i love this one as well this is called super cooper i've used this in a tutorial before and i also love the black one of this but the infallible eyeliners are super black super creamy obviously this is brown but when you put it on your eyes, it glides on so well. And this is so nice as an eyeshadow base. Look at that colour. That colour is beautiful. So the infallible waterproof liners from L'Oreal are really, really good. I also love the Rimmel ones as well, but I don't have the Rimmel one. I use them all up. The Rimmel one is really nice because it comes in a nude shade. So if you want to put like a nude waterline and it's like creamy, that one's really nice as well. And also, just quickly, while I'm on like pencil eyeliners, I love this bourgeois. Look how old and crusty and busted this is. This is the best pencil sharpener you'll ever find. And I've used so many guys. I've used ones from Chanel, Givenchy big ass brand but this is always the best one that i go to the only thing is a bit bulky but it's quite good because then you don't have to empty out the sharpener that much the reason why i find this one so good is because it makes pencils so sharp the reason why i discovered this because i remember i was on a makeup job once and someone told me that i need to get this pencil sharpener like another makeup artist and she was like i literally like depend on it she was quite a big makeup artist as well and i was like mm, okay, i'm gonna go get one of those so this is what the pencil looks like it's quite blunt and boring and it doesn't snag your pencils so you guys can see literally look how sharp it gets the pencil really nice and precise it works even better with wooden pencils like for lip lines and stuff like that. it gets it super sharp super crisp just like how you want it next one i'm going to talk about is a random product but it's from nyx and i love it so much it's such a good dupe for the mac mixing medium it's called the nyx mixing medium and this is literally like the exact same product as the mac mixing medium if you guys don't know what mac mixing medium is they have one called eyeliner and it's so good because you can make powders into eyeliners or you can also stick glitter on with it nyx also has a glitter glue it's in like an opaque packaging but i don't like that one as much for glitter i much prefer this one for glitter because that one is a bit like a pinky kind of color but i just want it to be clear you know what i mean so this is so good if you want to put glitter on i literally put a little bit on the back of my hand and then i use my finger and i tap it off and then i stick it onto the lid first and then i'll go on top of the glitter and it doesn't like cake up the glitter it doesn't foil the glitter it keeps the glitter really nice and glittery doesn't like make it look dull or anything like that so the nyx mixer medium if you love glitter and you're trying to find a good glitter base i would highly recommend the multi tasker mixer medium okay and then on to lip products Woo! so i'm going to talk about three different brands i absolutely love rimmel lipsticks they are so good they're so creamy i think they do matte ones but i haven't tried the matte ones but i love this packaging i don't know if they discontinued it i think they still have this packaging but it's the purple one and i love the color called spotlight beige and also nude delight but i think nude delight you can't find it anymore i found it on amazon but i love nude delight it's a really nice pale nude but spotlight beige you guys can see i've used nearly all of this one up and it's like a really pretty like everyday 
nude kind of colour and it wears so nicely. It doesn't look cakey or dry. It's a bit more of like a glossy formula though. So if you don't like a glossy formula, you might not like this one. But super moisturising, so good for like an everyday nude. You can just whack on your lips. Also love this NYX pin up pout this is in a shade called silk um, i really like the fact that it has that like, colors underneath so when you stack up all your lips that you can see the color exactly that you want to go for and this is what the shade looks like it's like a really pretty pretty nude it's so nice guys it's one of those nudes that you wear when you have a really really dark smoky eye or if you want a color that makes other lipsticks a bit lighter because it's quite nude like on its own you guys see it's quite pale so all my lighter skin girls you would love this as your everyday nude or my darker sisters you can use this to lighten up in the center of your lips give that ombre effect but these lipsticks in general like you can see how pigmented that is that like one swipe it's so full coverage it's quite like a matte finish as well it's like more like a satin kind of finish it's not shiny it's quite matte on the lips and it's just so nice it glides onto the lips it doesn't make your lips look really dry and like crackling and things like that so the nyx pinup pout is so good i also love this one from bourgeois as well show the color that is literally like a, a little baby between all these three it's like a really nice nude caramelly shade if you've got a bit of a tan if you've got like more like olivey skin tones like me you will love this color it's so nice it's called the rouge velvet lipstick and this comes in quite a lot of colorful shades so if you like a lot of color then go for that but i love more nude kind of colors so this nude is so nice it's called number one this is what it looks like guys it's like literally the perfect nude and super cream on the lips it literally feels like butter on the lips it glides on so nicely if you wear a product that's gonna be really, really long wearing probably all three of those not gonna last that long on lips you probably need something more like a liquid lipstick formula i haven't found like a liquid lipstick formula from the drugstore that i would recommend because you guys know any really good ones that's long wearing please comment them down below but yeah i'm always up for normal lipsticks on the drugstore because they glide on so nicely and then i'll just quickly mention two lip glosses they are both from nyx one is called the butter gloss and one is called the intense butter gloss so same family one is a bit more stronger so you can wear it literally on its own or you can wear butter glosses and this i'll probably wear it on top of a lipstick when i don't want it to be so like glossy i just want like a sheen to it the butter glosses are really nice but they're quite sheer i remember when butter glosses used to be like all the rage back in the days and when i bought this one this is called creme brulee and i'll show you it's very sheer so if you wore it on its own it's going to be very very natural but on top of other lipsticks it's so nice because it doesn't feel sticky whatsoever it just feels really smooth on the lip then someone else told me to try the intense butter glosses and i was like yes because i went through a phase where i loved lip glosses and this intense butter gloss is like super full coverage so this is called cookie butter and this is like a really nice cool tone nude so this one literally you would i don't know if you can see the difference but this one you can't see my skin through it and then this one is just like fully intense full color pigment just how i like it i love the cookie butter i love tress leches i love a uh, peanut butter as well i think it's called peanut butter peanut brittle i think it's called but that is really good really really good shit okay just quickly this was sitting on my lap not inside the box so i want to quickly mention them right now so this is an eyeliner that is from nyx and it's called the epic ink liner if you guys don't have this Girl, you need to run to your store or go on the Boots website right now and order yourself one of these eyeliners. This is even better than the Kat Von D Tattoo Ink Liner. I have that one from Kat Von D and it's not as black as this one. I love the fact that it's in like a pen form, but it's more like a brush. It's not like a fat felt tip that's not like a really fine point. So with this, you can get really, really sharp freaking wings basically and i love the fact that i can draw like bottom eyelashes on because i literally have like three hairs on my bottom lashes so i need to draw my bottom lashes on and i can only achieve it with pens like this and super affordable it's like five pounds from nyx and it's called the epic ink liner super black super long wearing so i'd highly recommend that so if you don't like pen form eyeliners i actually have an alternative for you guys but it's not a drugstore product it's actually a product from primer but it's literally one pound like, i still got a sticker on it it's one pound it's from primer it's so good guys i love it i actually use this all the time and i use it over my higher end eyeliners and it's so good because it's super black and i love the fact it comes with a brush the brush is a bit more of a wider one so if you like more thicker eyeliners like the one i have on today you'll love this you can also like thin it out if you really like taper the brush like on the edges of it but it's quite like a thick brush i'm not gonna lie it is so dark literally like one swipe it's so dark and also another one that i really love from the drugstore is from collection 2000 it has two ends it has a mascara on one end and an eyeliner on the other end it's 
somewhere in my makeup bag over there, so I'm not gonna go get it. But I love that one from Collection 2000 as well. But just prime up one, one pound, one pound, one pound fish, one pound fish. Is that what it's called? All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Oh, I'm out of breath. I talk so much. But let me know if you found any of these products really helpful. If you're gonna go buy any of these products, should I do a video all about my favorite affordable skincare? <gasps> That idea just came to me. Oh my god, comment down below, give me a thumbs up if you want to see that video. That's a good video because so many people love skincare but they don't know what is good and affordable. So, I might film that one guys. Yes. Yes, yes thinking, yes brain. So if you guys haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe before you leave. Also make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, enjoy the bloopers. My ear's so itchy. I feel like someone's talking about me. What does that mean? Maybe I just got a dirty ass ear. But I already had the. Oh my god, my dog's barking in the background. But let's just ignore him, Coco. <laughs> Coco. So, do you guys remember when I think it was? Is it from Rimmel or it's from NYC or something? The color called Sunny Bronzer. Everyone used to go on about Sunny Bronzer, and I always wanted to track it down, but we never had it. NYC in the UK. We had it at one point and then it fucked off somewhere. This concealer. Come on! Oh, I'm whizzing through these guys. Yes! Oh my god. One day I'm gonna like. Oh, I just pick my nose. Greg, can you just shut up? You're snoring. <laughs> Why do I sound like that? <laughs>